Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal. This YouTube channel covers a few of my tech interests, ranging from stuff like home networking, especially if you rent rather than own your property, as well as digital archiving. I've done quite a few videos about a interesting technology called the MDisk. Uh, today, I wanna to talk about a way to compress your videos using a program on Ubuntu Linux that's called Handbrake. Handbrake is a graphical user interface. It's a GUI, so unlike when you're using command line tools like FFMPEG, you don't need to memorize uh, terminal prompts in order to get this to work. And the reason I'm using it currently and why I think it might be useful for a lot of folks is it's going to basically re-encode your uh, video and that will commonly reduce the file size or that would probably be the reason most people are using handbrake 4. so i'm going to do a quick uh test of a short 15 second clip of me speaking and then i'm going to um, encode that re-encode that from in handbrake from mk4 format into mkv that's the container that i'm going to move into and i'm going to then put the two videos side by side one after the other and then side by side so you can assess um, any differences in video and audio quality uh, that the encoding the re-encoding process has had. So let's go take one. Recently I moved to an apartment. It has DSL internet. DSL internet like coaxial internet are suboptimal methods of internet delivery and fiber optic internet if you can get it is much faster and more efficient. Recently I moved to an apartment, it has DSL internet. DSL internet, like coaxial internet, are suboptimal methods of internet delivery. Okay, that was my little speech test. I'm gonna run them back to back and then um, I'll also point out the file size, the delivery file size, what that came out to before and after the re-encoding. And uh, let me know in the comments if you think that there was a noticeable uh, lack of quality um, for the file, si file size that we sa saved. And of course, the whole idea is that if you have a slow upload speed, the smaller you can get your video while preserving a reasonable amount of quality uh, the less painful the process is going to be of getting that up to the cloud, whether that's YouTube or wherever else you are distributing your video. Thanks for watching, and if you want to get more videos from me about uh, topics like the ones I've mentioned, please consider dropping a subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.